sheep all fed. Shed guys already getting going now. Crane over here shortly. So we party at house all this morning. Morning, Holly. So I'm just in the field of rape at the moment. Big break now. That's it. Wow. It's a drill working there. Today is basically just going to be all shed because myself, Duncan, Kev, we're all um, in training for a new combine that's coming. So basically a full day of staring at a screen. Might learn a few bits, but it won't be very entertaining. So what you'll see is basically all shed. I'll try get in between. I've got a five minute break here and there, try and get a few bits so you can see it. And then I'll get some bits at the end of the day and show you all what's happening with the shed today. Coos are after some food. Just past it, it gets fed out here. Probably doesn't even need it, but I like to keep him happy. There he is. Going to have a wee look at peak of the potatoes. So now they've all broken the surface, they'll start soaking in all the sunlight, and that's where they get the energy to expand the potatoes from. So all coming through nice. Lulu's balance is pretty good now on the quad bike. You can sling it around the corner and she'll hold on stiff. Shed guys are just kind of beginning to shift the rafters about because um, they'll just feed um, the crane driver that comes. The crane will come with a driver. So they'll feed the crane driver, he'll hoist them into place. The guys in the cherry pickles will sit on either end of the columns, bolt them all on, uh, and then they'll just work down. That constant squeeze every week. So the crane arrived. We're in business now nurtured and looked after wee spud brought him back to life and now he's being a wee bandit escaping question of the day fork with bucket what are these hooks for there's one on this side and one on that side just doing my the combine training having a five minute break just now i think it's an all day thing so it's a bit mind numbing but anyway i'm to get it done just going to go and check how the guys are getting on with the shed. Don't hang about anyway, the, that's about half an hour and they've got all the end pieces up. So next next, uh, next pieces are two of those rafters joined together. So they're getting on pretty good, that's two rafters in. Just working their way down and uh, there's a few struts to go in between. Looking great, looking, starting to take shape. Anyway, I better get back to my uh, training, training course. That's our training done, it was 9 till 3. No chance we're going to remember it all, but anyway. Head's a bit fried, sore head. I'm back outside now. Shed's coming on. They're kind of halfway down the rafters, but it's an absolute beast. So, to get up there in a cherry picker, just putting in kind of a few purlins and just to tie it all together, and then they'll put in all the purlins along the top. The guys down here are doing all the Parallel mounts along the top of the rafters um, and then there's all the wind braces along these edges here but they're getting good progress so hopefully I think tomorrow they'll have most of the rafters basically finished the whole main frame finished so I'm standing currently right in the middle of the shed so half of it's done there the other half is still to do but it's absolutely mega it's amazing Coming along the road, you can see it just boom. Look at the size of it. And these guys are not hanging about. There's five of them and a crane driver that arrived. So six of them. Today they managed to get all of these rafters in. So what they do, lay them out on the floor, join them in the middle, and bolt them together. You can see the joints just here. So they're all bolted together. They add in the purling, purling mounts. Uh, so those things, that's the purling mounts and uh, they also then, so they're all put in and uh, then they lift it into place, bolt it into the columns so that's it in place in that direction then they add on each of them, they've added a few of these uh, purlins and uh, just to add a bit of rigidity I think uh, make sure it's uh, parallel all the way across so they also then did the wind bracings so these in between the rafters um, there must be must be four going down the way, so one here, one section all the way here, another one will be 
there possibly and then one at the end we'll see how it goes but it is mega also i got a drone just because i was considering it and realistically this is the best opportunity to use a drone for this so i went and bought one just a wee cheap one off ebay and um, second hand so uh, i've had it up a couple of times I'll get it up now get a few shots of it all Here's the crane, so it's going to be on higher, ideally for two days max, so then get it on higher. But it's a pretty decent sized crane. Um, so these legs basically allow the weight to be spread over a wider area, so um, the chance of it tipping is massively reduced. For something to tip over, you need the centre of mass um, to go beyond um, the parallel line to the ground of the edge of the piece. This is not a good example, but imagine this is a crane. Uh, if you drew a line from the middle of this piece of wood, the centre of mass, down to this edge, when that line becomes directly straight to the ground, like it would be about now, that's where it then falls over. So by extending this bit out, like what those legs are doing, you're basically making the pivot point down here. So this line then goes from the centre of mass here to over here, so you have to tip it all the way right over here until it'll tip over. So that's why you do that, spread the load out. That's why cranes have them. That forklift's got some legs on the front as well, just for a bit of stability as well. If you had to pick between a four bed mansion in Portugal next to the pool, or a big old grain store that's gonna hold a few thousand tons of grain, what would you pick? I know which I'd pick. I think a guy's been in um, collecting some of his kit. He's got one digger to go. He's quite happy with how it's all looked, like, turned out so far. I think he'll probably leave that digger for a wee bit just to, just in case the pad was to settle at all in places, he could kind of refinish it. But I don't think it will. He's pretty, he's pretty happy with it. Everyone's pretty happy with how that's looking now. Shed update from up here. It's quite windy. Don't know if you can hear me, but that's how it's looking now. Absolute belter. Look at it, oh jeez, that is amazing. When you come along the road from here, it just stands out, oh, it's amazing. Yesterday's question of the day, what are these blue boxes? And they're the inverters for solar panels that are on the shed. So it changes um, DC power that is coming from the solar panels into AC to be added to the grid or used in applications um, or appliances um, around the farm and farm shop.